Now that we've covered how to attach curriculum maps to your subjects, we'll show you how to add curriculum content to your lesson plans. In order to get back to PlanBoard, you will want to go back to the navigation menu in the top left-hand corner and scroll down to PlanBoard. By default, when you go to PlanBoard, it is going to bring you to the Day view, but first I want to show you the Unit view. Once you have added a curriculum map to your unit, you can take a look at the unit view to see the content that's been curated by the curriculum authors. You can view this by selecting the Unit button in the top right. Then you can select the sections that you've been working on. I've been working on Grade 3 Math. By default, it shows you the amount of scheduled lessons for that subject. Now, I have many lessons in my school year, and it's going to show me which lessons have been planned and which have been attached to a unit. What I can do to look at the unit content is go to the number of units over here, and it's going to show me which units have been planned and created in my curriculum map. If I click on one, it's going to show the content within that unit. This will allow you to know exactly what's in the curriculum and be able to schedule your lesson planning a little more easily and know when you want to tackle which content. Now I'm going to go back to my week view, and here I can take a look at my subjects and see the difference between a subject with scheduled units and a subject without scheduled units. As you can see from my grade 3 math where I scheduled my units, I now have units attached to my lessons. This way, when I'm looking forward in my plan board, I can know how long I should be teaching my units. You can also see that for my grade 3 ELA class, I haven't scheduled any units, and therefore I manually have to assign my units, or I can go back and schedule them via my curriculum map if I have a curriculum map for that subject as well. Now of course, when you're lesson planning, you do want to use the content and pull that content from the unit that has been created for you. So what you can do is click on one of your lessons, I'm going to use this one where I preloaded a template. And over here in the bottom right hand corner of the lesson, I'm going to select the Unit Content button. Now I can see what has been put in that unit by the curriculum author, and I can take a look and pull these pieces and enter them into my lesson plan. So for example, if I want to put an assessment into my lesson plan, I'm going to select this section of my unit and take a look at what has been created for me. Depending on your curriculum authors, you may have a lot of resources in here, or you may have a little bit more focus content. What I'm going to do is pull this assessment and put it where I want it in my lesson. I have the choice of either putting it at the top of my lesson, the bottom of my lesson, or somewhere in the middle, wherever my cursor is. Just to keep it easy, I'm going to put it at the top of my lesson, and then I'm going to click back to go to my lesson. Now you can see that content that I've pulled from the unit is right here at the top of my lesson plan. What's great about that is the standard that was attached to that content has now been added directly to my standards tracking at the bottom here. And when I'm done pulling that content from the unit, I'll just click Save, and it's there for me to use when I go to teach my lesson in the future. Thank you for completing this chalk tutorial. We don't expect you to already be an expert, so we have a few support channels that you can review when you need help. We have help.chalk.com. This is our online knowledge base with articles on all of our apps that can answer many questions. Within the application, you can reach this from the top right-hand corner through the question mark icon. We also have our in-app live chat from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This will allow you to talk to one of our live agents one-on-one -on -one with any questions that you might have. If you want to reach us after hours, we also have our 24-hour email support. Feel free to email us at support at chalk.com anytime you like, and we'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks again for watching this tutorial, and good luck with your lesson planning.